Hey there, Matthew Ross from RU Game, a new podcast and YouTube channel. Also a longtime uh, radio host, sports radio host, sports journalist here in Montreal. And this is an open letter to Mr. Stu Sternberg. My other hat was as the chairman and founder of Expos Nation, a nonprofit that uh, promoted the return of the Expos and Major League Baseball to Montreal and certainly worked as well with the local group here, uh, the Stephen Bronfman group which worked with you to try and get a split city Tampa Bay Rays uh, idea done until obviously the, the rug was pulled. Now, normally uh, we've always advocated for the split city idea and just talked about major league baseball, whether it was in the expansion uh, vein or what have you, and not wanting to punish or see another city lose their team because we know what that pain is. But it's hard to idly sit by and see what's happening on the field in Tampa Bay, Mr. Sternberg, and the team that you've built and see how the community has supported it from a fan perspective. We're talking about historic numbers, historic winning streaks, and the team being compared to the successes, early season successes of teams from like 1905. Just amazing results. And you deserve to have a fan base that turns out 17,000 fans, which is essentially the same amount that turned out for the first 14 home games of your team back in 2019, is not acceptable. It's not. And while maybe some of your comments locally help to perhaps uh, jade some of the, the Rays fan base, you can't ignore winning, and that's what's happening right now. And it's unfortunate. And I know you like the TV deal down there, and I know you like the Florida sunshine, but Montreal is here for you. Montreal is a market that would absolutely succeed with you being the majority owner, an hour flight from your native New York. It would work here. And we know that you have that relationship with Stephen Bronfman and his local group here that did such a great job. But we also know that, Mr. Sternberg, these folks just wanted to bring baseball back. They don't need a majority stake. They don't need a huge chunk in, in your team. They just wanted to help with the overall success of your franchise. So here's what I would say about everything. Number one, feasibility studies have been done here locally that show that if a major league baseball team was here, people would buy season tickets. If you have a season ticket base that is all but sewn up or all but flushed out, kind of like when the Winnipeg Jets came back a few years ago and uh, they had their season tickets sold before they, uh, the puck was ever dropped before uh, players, I think, were even introduced. They had everything lined up. Well, that's what would happen here. You'd get a season ticket base of 20, 25,000 fans. We've seen it. We've seen the numbers, especially for a winning team. And the other aspect is we know about your Tampa Bay TV deal, and that's just a, you know, a, a great market. We know that. However, Rogers, big uh, players up here on the media side, they own the Blue Jays, and Bell Media, their chief rival, does not own a baseball team, and they would love to be in charge or in the mix uh, to have another team up here with 162 games a year to show all summer long. They're starved for it. They're desperate for it. And the money would even be driven up because you have uh, Quebec or who just, the owner just bought the local CFL franchise. He would push the French rights up through the roof for you as well. So that's something to think about. The other aspect here is you're talking about a big city and you're talking about a lot of corporate corporations here in Canada. And you're talking about a market that can indeed succeed. And you have to throw out the last 15 years of what the Expos looked like because they were mismanaged. They gave away players. They jaded the fan base. They played in a dome that was in an undesirable part of the city. You know how that is with, with your dome in St. Petersburg and not in Tampa Bay. There's a lot of factors that went into it. We can discuss those at a later date. They've been, you know, spoken about ad nauseum, but you look at those preseason games for a team on the field in the Blue Jays that was not liked here. People are starved here. People are starved here for the game, especially now that it's been sped up. 
And Montreal is a festival city in the summer. It's an outdoor city. People clamor to get outdoors. Now, you might say, well, what about April? Who's going to buy tickets for me in April? Well, I propose that you keep the team in spring training for a couple of weeks longer. Then you go on a couple of weeks of a road trip, and you only start games here in May when it starts to turn around weather-wise. And you have those spring training games in your complex in Florida, regular season games, I should say. You charge a premium for those because the local market has lost their team, and those are the games that they get. Perhaps you do a couple of other things locally there, maybe a junket, so forth, with the players to uh, ensure that they're attached to that market, and perhaps you still get some rights uh, for that market to some extent. But this is the place for you to be. This is the absolute place for you to be. You need a big city. This is a big city. This is a major league city. And the Expos thrived, and you know all about it. You know you've been here. You like the city. We all know you've been here many times. Tampa Bay is not going to get better as a fan base. Part of that city we know is Yan Yankee territory because of the spring training situation. Do you think that the Red Sox coming into town here in Montreal, which is five-hour drive from Boston, do you think that that would not be absolutely electric in a downtown outdoor stadium? The clock is ticking here. That land that was going to house a stadium part-time with the split city idea, uh, it's all but gone. We, we have to move on this quickly. And my plea to you, Mr. Sternberg, is to stop allowing the empty seats in Tampa Bay. And you've been trying to get a stadium done there for years and years and years and years and years. It's been the talk since the franchise got there in the 90s. This is your time to make the move. The rules of the game have changed in Major League Baseball. It's allowed for a quicker pace, which will be good for the, the young folks here. You can look at the stars that are coming out of this province in terms of baseball. Uh, Mr. Uh, Julien now with the Twins, of course, as an example. This is the place to be. It's not in Tampa Bay anymore. Montreal is the place to be. You can call it the Expos. You can keep it the Rays. You can make it another name. Whatever the case may be, a big stadium, an outdoor stadium would be magical absolutely magical in this climate. You let the local group manage the stadium situation. You continue to manage your team, which you've done so excell excellently over the years, and you bring your team up north. Mr. Sternberg, the other thing I would say is this would be a regional team. You resurrect a AAA team in Ottawa a couple of hours away, an hour and a half to two hours away. You see the buses come back to Montreal from Burlington, Vermont, from Plattsburgh, New York, and from all around. This would be a regional team. When I used to go with my, with my parents as a kid to Plattsburgh, New York for shopping and what have you, there would be Expos t-shirts in the stores, Mr. Sternberg, because some of those fans grew up Expos fans. We had the Vermont Expos as well, a single A team that was around forever at Centennial Field. There is precedence. There is history. And now is the time to make this move. I plead. I plead with you. I plead with you. And make the plea. Whatever you want to say, however you want to phrase it, this is the time to get it done. And you have an army of people here in this city that will help you sell tickets, create culture, support the team in person, help recruit others to do the same. This is the time to make the trip up north. We're ready. We're here. Our time is not expansion. We know the appetite of the local group is not to spend $2 billion on an expansion fee and then to have to build a stadium. It's not going to happen. We know that. So you are the hope. That's it. You're the only hope. 
And to play in a division with the Yankees, Red Sox, and Blue Jays would guarantee, guarantee, guarantee success of a team up here. Scouts honor. Make it happen, Mr. Sternberg. We're all here, and we're all waiting.